Hi guys, it's Joe Trezilla with another cup of Joe with Joe. As you can see, we're abiding by the shelter in place orders. So again, I'm coming to you from my home office in Dallas. Almost every non-essential worker is working from home, including television journalists and anchors. I'm just now getting used to watching my favorite news anchors on television from their home. There was a great story on April 13th in Vogue. If you can't stop staring at TV anchors' home backgrounds, you're not alone. They showed snapshots of CNN Cooper Anderson's home and ABC's chief medical correspondent Jennifer Ashton's home. NBC got super crafty with green screen technology and created a slick 30 Rock studio for Lester Holt in his Manhattan apartment. But let's face it, we have also seen the atrocious interviews and backgrounds too. Just Google some of Jimmy Kimball live segments for proof. Who would have ever thought that we would use video conferencing this way? And young and old alike are adapting. The fact that I was able to teach my non-tech 70-something year old mother how to use Zoom solidified that literally anyone can use it with a few tips. News stations are simply not sending their photojournalists and reporters out to the field. Well, not much anyway. Currently, we're scheduling every one of our partners' interviews on Zoom. It is just our way of life for the time being. Fancy studios and green rooms are now our own living room spaces up close and personal. We thought that this was the perfect time to give you a few Zoom interview tips to ensure you represent your brand correctly. Remember, as a spokesperson for your brand, you become the face of your brand. And we want to make sure that you present yourself like an expert. Tip number one, download your software. Way before the scheduled interview, download the Zoom software and make sure that you have a Zoom account. It's quite simple and if you run into any snags, YouTube how to set up a Zoom account. Tip number two, dress appropriately. While I know we're all enjoying being in sweats and comfy clothes, now is the time to put on real business clothing. Dressing well will make you feel more confident. And yes, this includes top and bottoms. God forbid you have to get up during the interview for some reason. Can you imagine the shock if the audience see, saw you in a button down and tie and then your boxers? <laughs> you may want to consider wearing a logoed shirt so that your brand is always on the screen. And if you wear glasses, make sure that they're clean. Smudges and fingerprints show up very clearly on high definition television. Tip number three, your background. Select your background carefully and do a test. Case in point, imagine if I was doing an interview on how to conduct a Zoom meeting and the background was full of pink flamingos, children's shoes by the front door, a silly yard sign, and the University of Texas cooler. That is just a hot mess. And if you're wondering about the 200 flamingos we have, it's a long story. <laughs> Choose your background carefully. Tip four, lighting. Just remember that your strongest lighting should always be in front of you, not behind you. And this means you have to be aware of your windows. You never want your back to the windows. Tip five, positioning the camera. Nothing is worse than looking at someone's forehead or looking at someone's nostrils. I mean, we've all seen it, right? You Make what? sure that the camera is at eye level. You may have to get creative and put your laptop or recording device on a chair or a couple books. I have even been known to duct tape my iPad or iPhone to a wall or tripod. The key here is to make sure that your camera is steady and not moving around and at eye level. Tip six, try standing instead of sitting. Standing always provides confidence and energy, especially if you're a little nervous. Tip seven, choose a quiet area. Kids and dogs, while they're cute and right now sometimes unavoidable, during media interviews, kids interrupting and barking dogs are distracting. Same goes for lawn mowers, dishwashers, and vacuums. Tip eight, use an external microphone or headset. 
While computer and smart device microphones are good, they're not great. Invest in an external microphone. They're really inexpensive and you can get one that plugs directly into your smart device or computer for less than $20. If you don't have time to order one, it's perfectly okay to wear your smart device's earbud and microphone. Nothing is worse than watching an interview where no one can hear you or no one can understand you. Tip nine, test your connections before the interview. Zoom makes it quite easy to test your sound level and mic levels. It is very, very easy to check your levels. When you're on the Zoom page, go to the Join Audio button here in the left-hand corner. Click that. You're going to have two options. One is to join with computer audio, and the other is to test speaker and microphone. I always suggest testing the speaker and microphone before joining the meeting or interview. So click that. It's going to ask you, did you hear a ringtone? So your speakers are working just fine. Now it's time to test the microphone. Now it's time to test the microphone. So you speak into the microphone and then it repeats you on the speaker so you can see exactly how clear or how loud your voice is or whether or not the microphone is working. It's that simple. Tip 10, turn off your recording device alerts. Trust me on this one. It's very distracting to have your text messages, email alerts, instant messages pop up during the interview. You're worried that the viewer or the host might be able to see the message Plus, the message does steer away from the focus of the interview. The best idea is to turn on your Do Not Disturb and silence all messages. Your windows can do this too. Tip 11, look at the camera and not at the screen. This one is more difficult than it sounds. Our eyes will always gravitate toward the screen. Practice over and over. This is what it looks like when I talk to the screen. And this is what it looks like when I talk back to the camera. The screen camera, screen, camera. I have been known to even tape a picture of the host or the reporter right by the camera eyes so I remember to talk to it and not the screen. Tip 12, be aware of your facial expressions. And another one that is more difficult than it sounds, be aware of your facial expressions at all times. You have heard the resting witch face. Well, this look is not good on camera. Sometimes when you're concentrating on what's being said or the question being asked, you can look this way. Practice. Record yourself. Have someone interview you for a test round and then watch it. I know it sounds crazy, but the only way you're going to be prepared and know what to watch out for is if you watch yourself. Nonverbal cues can be very disruptive. Tip 13. Have your talking points in front of you. It is perfectly okay to have your talking points in front of you. I can't reiterate this enough. Just like any other interview, any other time of the year, it's important that you always remember that you own the interview. Make sure that you know what you have to say. Don't wing it, ever. And it's okay to look down at your notes every now and then. Just don't read them verbatim. Tip 14, sound check and pleasantries. When the journalist first starts, they're going to ask you to say your name and then spell your name. This is for accuracy and for a mic check. And trust me, with a last name like Trezilla, they want to make sure they're pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> Once the interview starts, be sure to thank the journalist for having you on and again thank them at the end. Tip 15, mind your P's and Q's. Just like any other interview you do, remember nothing, and I mean nothing, is off the record ever. And at the end of the interview, make sure for the love of all things that your Zoom is off. Double check, triple check. I have heard horror stories where people have said, man, that guy's a jerk. And the Zoom was still on. Please message me with any topics that are interesting to you. And please take a minute to subscribe to our channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay sane.